hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel today i'm going to show you how i cloned linkedin using just html and css note this tutorial is not for complete beginners if you're a complete beginner and you're new to html css do go to watch my previous video on how to move from zero to intermediate and also watch my video on how i cloned youtube i'm sure by the time you watch those videos you're going to be able to replicate this project on your own without following a to, to z now the thing is this this tutorial is not a lengthy tutorial it's really just a brief tutorial to show you how to do it and i'm also drop, going to drop a link to my code on github so you can have access to those links now let's just get started and let me show you what we did if you see this this is linkedin.html this is what i worked on and this is my my linkedin profile you can see my name and exactly my profile and you can see i have this session here i have this and i also have this on the right now the moment i keep scrolling if you observe this particular card here and this one stays fixed on the screen it doesn't move it just keeps it stays exactly where it is and i can keep scrolling up and down but the moment i get back to the top of the screen it retains its original position now i also have the messaging here which is equally similar to my LinkedIn. So let me just show you my real LinkedIn profile. Now, this is my real LinkedIn profile, and you can see it's exactly almost similar. I'm also going to drop a link to the website that I got all the assets I used for this project. So let's get started. As you can see here, we already have this LinkedIn.html, and this is just the basic HTML syntax where we have the head, we have the body. And we have the html opening and closing tag so in between the head we have the link where we've linked to our css there's currently nothing here and we also linked to our font awesome because that is where we got all of those um icons or some of the icons we use and it's important for us to link to this in our head so um let me just go back to what i have here in linkedin in this linkedin here this is my my linkedin page yeah and you can see we have the other we have this session here i call this this session we have this other session and this other session so we're going to start from the other and like i said this is not for uh new beginners so i'm just going to speed this tutorial up by working on it and then showing you what i did and we do the same for each of the sessions just to explain the breakdown process how it took me to clone and how i was able to work on this project right so that's it so let's start from the other basically for the other you i'm just going to do this just for explanation purposes while i populate afterwards i have this uh semantic element definitely it's important we use that and inside this header right i have i'm going to give this a class and this class is going to be called header and inside this header like i said when i showed you we have for the header here let me show you again if you see we have this you know this linkedin logo and this search then we have this middle session here and we have also have this right session here so it's important that i put each of these sessions right in a div like for the left session for this middle session for the right session that's the best way to do it and inside all of this session especially for this middle session i'm also going to put each of these individual icons in a div where i would have the image i'll have the label i will also have the image i'll have the label and for the notification in particular, I'll put it in another div, you know, in a div as well. Because, of course, there is going to be a notification alert here. Supposing I have unread notifications. So, for here as well, I'm also going to put each of this in a div. And I'm going to style it. As you can see, once we move from, from, one, all of this, from one of these icons to another, our cursor becomes pointer. So, we're going to just do that. And replicating this here it's just going to be something like this you have a div and you have this class so you can be able to style this you have the left session you have another div 
and you have this class called let me do and you also have another div because divs are containers this is the right session right so you can now put all of these icons all of those things inside and also give them classes so you can be able to style them accordingly the other i populated the left session here i already populated the middle session and the right session so we have this header sorted out and i styled it as well with css i need this tutorial to be as fast and quick as possible it's the replic it's the same thing i just replicated my linkedin it's the same thing as what i already did before and um this is it so we have all of this i'm just going to explain it in a moment right we have the left session as you can see the linkedin logo the search we have the middle session here and we have the right session so when i over on this yes i have this it becomes uh bright right it becomes dark rather so since we have this and back to html yeah so for this um for this left session yeah we have uh, this image logo imputes you know search the middle session we have the home network jobs and for this right session i have this uh for business and post a job and for the css let me just show you what i have for the other the position is fixed a top of zero left zero right zero right and there's a height of 60 pixel given a background color padding left of course there's a space on the left of the screen yeah and on the right because they are not starting of course from the edge so we have some space between the left uh to the next icon on the left and also on the right and we gave it a display of flex of course because we need it to be horizontally positioned and the justify content space between align item center is the index to make sure it always appears first now for the body yes we have the font family padding top definitely padding left padding right background color and for the paragraph we have to set the padding and the margin to zero for the logo because in my html here if you observe i have this class of logo for my linkedin so for the logo i have a height of 35 pixel and the margin right so the margin right is the space between the margin on the right hand side on the outside of the right hand side to the input field which is the five pixel yes i know you can recall that we have this here yes you can see this we have a little bit of five pixel here so that's what that is is about and um for the left session of course the display flex want a horizontal want a aligned center as well we want you to have a confined width that's why it's 300 and imagine right that is the margin on the right outside on the right side before we talk before we go to the middle session we gave it a space of 120 pixel which is of course it's very explanatory very easy we have this space here which is 120 pixel and this is this is it and um i i worked on the middle session display flex but i gave this a flex of one because i gave the left session a confined width and i gave the right session a confined width of 140 so i want the middle session to take the rest of the space so that is why it has a flex of one and every other thing here is is easy border left yes because there's a border left on the right session and now this is for the search box this is where it can be confusing but luckily for this search box too while i was working on this project it wasn't really easy especially to be able to have um this search icon inside the search box so i copied the code on the internet on how to put a search icon inside the search box and i was able to put that and it worked for me so 
in this learning this journey you don't necessarily have to know everything the moment you are trying to get something done just go on the internet and search you find it and you can be able to replicate and do what you're doing so for the search box a padding a border a background color you can see it's a little bit of blue and a border and a width background image yes the background image is now my um my url for my icon but i gave it a size to make it smaller 16 pixel a background repeat no repeat outline zero background position 10 pixel that is why it is positioned at that 10 pixel just by that side this is the code i used to get that done so you can also use this and for the placeholder as well font size padding left basically you know what padding left is this is the placeholder this is the padding left here right so it's just simple to 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 grasp. it's just that it can be time consuming to work on it on your own but the moment you do this project i'm sure you're going to be you're going to be excited that yes you have you have a, a wing or a hand on how css works and you can be able to take up challenges because of course you have an idea not just an idea you know it literally so we have the home definitely you know what this home i use in css is the class i used for each of these my icons like um for the home here i gave it a class of home the same thing as network i gave each all of them the same class except the notification that i gave a different class of notification container and that's because of the alert on it so um back to this then um for this uh, dp here i have this dp to be the me icon that is me because of course the size is a little bit different so that's why i have this dp and i have it a height of 30 and i gave it a border radius to be circle you know so that's 50 percent of of it then um the me icon is the is the is the div containing me and i i also start that giving it a display of flex but this time around i want it to have a flex direction of colon and that's because of the arrow i placed under it padding top padding left and this is where the arrow is um i used this is where the font awesome this is where the font also comes in which is here in my label and that's what i did for for this middle session so for the right session is is literally almost the same thing uh, i gave the same class name which is top icon top icon label label and another thing is since i gave all of them the same class of home home but it happens that this home having this height of 23 wasn't working for all of them i mean some of the icons were still bigger so i did something called inline styling in css and this is just what inline styling is where you can be able to call up this style and give it a height inline styling so all of this are inline styling in all of these images so i had to inline individually style the image 20 pixel 20 pixel 20 pixel 20 pixel if you observe in this label too i had to style for the me icon inline styling i gave you an opacity and a font family and that's because i just wanted to apply to just this and the reason why it's that way it's because i gave everything the same icon perhaps if they were not the same icon there would be no need for me to have this inline styling so this is where uh this is what i did for the other and we're just going to move to the next part which is what the year this 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 so i'm just going to explain this and i'm going to populate as well if you observe here what i also did is to also separate i have this year i'll call it the left session i have this year i'll call it the middle session and i have this here i'll call it the right session so what i'll do is i'll populate this session here this left session and i'll come back to explain what i did just like i said i was going to show you and we have this let me show you what i already did here right so you can see we've had this left session and this is it this is a left session which is already styled as well i'm going to just explain so that it can be easy because i want you to be able to do this yourself and i want to just show you the process how it's done going back to 
HTML here. I have this. Um, okay, I'll collapse this header so that we can see. I've collapsed this header. So what I did is I used, of course, thematic elements as well. A main. So this main uh, tag here or this main element here is going to contain the left session, the right session and the middle session. So currently, this is the opening tag of the main and the closing tag. And I gave it the class name, uh, class name of main. And inside this main, I have the left main. I will have the middle main and I will have the right main. So now we just worked on the left main. In the left main, I put this left main in a div, right? So it's closing here. Yeah. And inside the left main, we also have the left main one we have the left main two and we have the left main three to make it easy so i just divided everything right so this is this this first card here is the left main one this other this one in the middle here is the left main two while this here is the left main three right so this is it left main three left main two and left main one let me just show you what we did so it's that's easy so we have this left main one left main two and left main three right back to html here let me just go ahead to explain briefly now for this left main one let me close the tab and op let me open it again for this left main one it has to be in a div remember so closing this div you can see the opening tag of the div and the closing tag and it has a class name of left main one inside it i have the very first thing in my left main one which is the the image and the banner so you see this is the image as a class of banner and my own image my picture back to this this is this is it so this is let me one so you see my banner this is my image and this is my picture and i have this my about and this analytics and this are my items so back to html let me show you again we have those two images banner my picture then this div containing my about because of course my name is in the heading and i used heading five and the paragraph this is the paragraph here in between I use the break br which is a self closing tag so that it can it can break to the other line and even without using the br it is definitely going to still work because in css I already set a confined width for this left main so regardless it's not so important and I have this my closing div of the about here then I also have the analytics here which is the h5 and the paragraph and the premium as well paragraph and the anchor tag because of the link try premium for free and the last but not the least here is the div containing my item and it's just a paragraph that is here which is my item so on css here let me go to this so on css here we have the main remember the main is the semantic element that is going to contain everything in the main session so i gave it is a display of flex and justify content space between so for the left main now remember left main is like the entire left main side then inside that left main i have the left main one left main two left main three so inside the left main i gave it this a fixed width of 230 pixel then margin right 25 pixel that is the space between the outside of that left main before we talk about the right main 25 pixel which is this space here and which is this space here with this this space here which is 25 pixel right so and i have display of course it has to be flex then the flex direction this time around is a colon because it's not horizontal it's you know it's vertical so we have the colon and that's just basically what i did here now 
for the left main right because you know it's it's vertical it's vertical like then we have the left main one right in the left main one we have a fixed height 340 pixel we have a margin bottom which is the space on the outside on the bottom before we talk before the left main two and we have this position here to be relative then the border border radius and background color now styling my banner and my picture we have my width border radius um because the the border radius is just only on the top left and right that's why we have this then my picture we have the width we have the border radius we have a position absolute i'm sure you know because my picture is on like the left main itself that is why my left main is having a position of relative and my picture is having a position of absolute and i gave this a left of 70 pixel and a top of 30 pixel so from the left there's going to be a space of 70 and from the top there's going to be a space of 30 which is this as you can see from the top and from the left 70 from the top 30 so that is that and my picture so for the about yeah that's the class yeah which is the uh this uh this div here which is this about here i have border background color border bottom and for the h5 which is uh the name we have a padding top of course they have to be some space from the top after the my after my picture and we have a text align center yes because i want the text to be in the center i don't want it to start from the left or from the right and i have a margin bottom of zero and for my about for my paragraph as well i give you font size text align margin top because i want to have some space on the outside from the top of my name and the paragraph which is my about and also the margin bottom and that's that for the analytics same thing if you observe i just literally just have almost the same thing that i have here which is the margin uh but border bottom padding left and padding right and for h5 and p just styling the same almost the same way because you just need to be able to know where you want the space to be and of course there is a margin bottom on each of those divs because after my about if you observe this is this is a uh, solid line here this solid line yes so this is this is the solid line we're talking about and um we have this one pixel solid and we have the color for the about uh we have just we have just like that like that like that for for that and for the premium as well now let's go to the left main two this is really not so hard like that so let's just go to the left main two for the left main two I'm just going to collapse this uh, left main one. So for the left main two, this is what we have. We have all of this. We have all of this in the left main two. Let's go to LinkedIn and see what we have in left main two. So for this left main two, I have this my this logo here. This page notification, see visitor analytics. You can see it's just really few. And, but we need to also understand how we, we did that so back to to the left main two yeah we have this div here which contains everything or not just everything but i think most important things are just here except the paragraph which is the cv store analytics so we have the image here we gave it a class and this is the source here we have the h5 which is the i think the the name of the image which is here then we have the page notification in a div and we also have you know there are two page notifications here we have the paragraph and we have another paragraph here which has this color of blue this page notification page visitor to one two this is blue so i just kept this two in a div page notification this is the div the second page notification this is the div one is page notification the other is page visitors so and i did inline styling which is the color blue so one is this is one this is two and we have the last one on that there which is the 
see visitor analytics which is this which is just a simple part i just used the paragraph i didn't put this in a div because there is really no other thing to do there than a div so that's for the left main two let me now show you the styling for the left main two so for the left main two we have a, a fixed height of course because it's not so big compared to the left main one because the left main one has a fixed height of 340 this but for the left main two uh we have a fixed height of 200 pixel this is it then we have a border around the left main two one pixel solid and this is the color then the border radius of course 10 pixel and the margin bottom then the background color now uh in the same left main two remember we have this everything put inside this div and we'll call that div class of page so we we'll call up that page we give the page a padding left padding right and a border bottom so for the image which is the mouse strings image we have this height we have the padding top and uh, for the page here which is the h5 remember we have this div and we have the class here page so for the h5 that is this h5 because we didn't call up a class so this is um css selector you can call up the page and put the the element and it's still going to work so we have the class page then h5 then imagine the top then for the page notification of course you remember this is the div here for the page notification remember this is a div inside a div because this is the first div here which is the class page and inside we have this image inside also we have those notifications which are individually put in their divs as well but they have the same class so page notification page notification but the paragraphs of course are different and the styling here for the page notification here we have to give it a display of flex so these two items inside this page notification that is you know we have two paragraphs this and the other number this and this number in here so we gave it a display of flex so they can be of course the default direction for flex is a row that is horizontal and we gave justify content space between align item center font size color and the margin bottom then the my item right so um let's see where that is dot my item come back to html uh, so let me see is there any my item here okay is there any class called my item none for now i'm just going to check this out so for this left main two that is the paragraphs in left main two they have all of this this styling and before we go to left main three so that's basically what we had in this left main two so let's go to left main three and let me explain what we have in left main three okay so i see where this my item came from my item is from left main one so you see from left main one my item has its own style in here as well my item font size font width padding top padding left and this is it here so collapsing left main left main one and collapsing left main two we are left with explaining left main three so going back to 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 this clone this is the third this is the third um this is the third item in the in the left main which is the left main three which is all of this similar to what we have here which is all of all of this so you can see it's a lot a lot of html a lot of icons that's that that is why our html here is extremely populated so for for this left main three of course we're going to use a div well we we used i used the div rather and you should also use a div so for each you can see i have this div that has this image and paragraph image and paragraph and that's because we have a lot of 
a lot of image you know this image and this paragraph we have a lot of this kind of image and this paragraph this kind of image and this paragraph right so in my left main three i have a lot of divs so my very first and i gave all of those div the same name for easy styling right so i have this first div i called it event flex right in the event flex i have the image call it give it a class of events then the source then the paragraph right then i close this event flex event flex event flex event flex event flex now the next is is the h6 which is the groups i also called it event flex because it's the image and paragraph image and paragraph but it's just that for the paragraph i gave the paragraph uh okay the paragraphs are also the same classes as the very first event flex but these are for groups but they are just all the same and i change all the paragraph text because of course they are different for the very first event set of event flex you know it's it's for events for this for the second is for groups although i still use event flex and i use the same class for both the image and the paragraph of course the paragraph text are different right so this is for groups h6 then another h6 for event and for event you see event flex event paragraph these are the same classes i used it's just that the paragraphs and the icons are different so for all of those icons now i got these icons i'm going to put the link where i got those icons so you can also make use of this kind of icons and I also have the last but not the least which is the followed hashtags also event flex events and event p as the class but i changed the text in the paragraphs and i put everything in a div so i can be able to style them accordingly so last but not the least we have the very last one which is not in a div and which is this paragraph which is show more which is under so show more and we also have this very last discover discover more so let's go to linkedin clone and let's see let's see uh what we've been oh what i've been saying literally so you can see this icon here and this text are all in the div i'm telling you this is the div 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 then we have the group which is the h6 then div 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 i gave each i gave the same if uh, the same classes so i can style them accordingly then we have this show more so this this is the show more on that yeah um let me find it so this is the show more which is just a paragraph on its own it's not in a div this is just the paragraph but because it's not in a div i gave it its own class which is same and you know it's literally easy to to do the styling i need to even focus more on explaining so this is the you know h6 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 and all of this and this is the show more i told you it's also in a paragraph same as this show more paragraph then this is the discover more that is in another div another div i'm going to keep dropped i'm going to drop the link to the github where this code is and so this is this is it now let's go to the css and let's see how it's done don't forget it's all in a div and of course that's have a display of flex so left main three we need to have a fixed height 540 now the trick to all of these it is this once you work on on your first uh, left main one you might not necessarily set a height or you set a height but you might keep adjusting all of those height until it sits well with the content inside it right so i have the left main one and left main two so the left main three i have a height of 540 before i arrived at this 540 i probably had 400 and i kept on adding items and i saw that my items were already spilling out of the height so i ended to adjust the height of that container and i have the background color bother and all of those those things now this is where the position sticky comes in so position sticky is what i gave for this left main three and at the top of 80 pixel it becomes position fixed please if you don't really understand uh, position in css i have a quick easy interesting tutorial on it just go and watch that so you have a good understanding of css positioning now for the left main three h6 all of those h6 that is the groups the events color blue 
now the event here which is um this image all of this image you can see events they have their height of 18 pixel and the margin right that is the space on the outside on the right then all of the paragraphs which i gave a class of events p right i have a font size and for the event flex which is the div containing right containing each of those which is the event flex right because of course i want to give it a display of flex that's why i gave it event flex display flex align item center and opacity so when i over opacity becomes one then we have the same so for this same year i don't know if you remember let's go for this same is for this paragraph of show more that is not in a div so you can see the same see all we have it same year um let me look for it S paragraph same show more see all they are not in a div but i gave them i gave it the same class so it can be easy to style so we have opacity font size and we have the margin top so when i over on it as well you know we have this now for the last but not the least the last um the last div here which is the discover this discover i that we have here i also style this and i have margin top padding align center and the likes so this is how you can be able to start the left session i'm also going to go ahead to show you the middle session and the right session uh, together so you can also go ahead take up this challenge and clone your linkedin and you can tag me let me know if you encounter any challenge also my code is going to be available on github so you can always go to reference and i know some of you might even be better than what i did i did you might do something really better you might be able to collapse this code in a really small form that is not going to be this lengthy because i have a lot of repeated codes everywhere middle main two so i'm just going to collapse this left main right so i already populated for the middle main and also the thing about the middle main is this it has its own middle main one middle main two and the likes so looking at this here i have this uh middle main right this is the left main this is the middle main we're still going to have the right main for this middle main i have the middle main one which is quite different it has this profile picture it has this input and it has this icons here and we have this card which is the middle main two so for the middle main two is more of repetitive code because i just replicated this card this card that has my the name here that has this uh post and this image and i just replicated it just changing different images but literally using the same and for the paragraph i just used the rem ipsum right so scrolling and you see it's literally almost the same as uh as linkedin but the difference here is that for this um for this middle main here yeah, for for this middle main we have um the fact that it is large compared to the middle section of the linkedin which is a little bit small and we have this here yeah, and that's because we have not set any width for the right main session so let's just go into the code and let me explain what i what i did and let's just d dive right into this so for this uh middle main right so i have this middle main i create a div right and give it a class called middle main so inside that div i'm going to have my middle main one which is this and i'm going to have my middle main two which is this right so you can see middle main two a lot of middle main two because it's the same cut i just replicated middle main two middle main two middle main two right so let me open up this once again and let me explain the middle main one so for the middle main one i have the very first uh div right which has that my image and that input that you saw let me show you again it has this image it has this image and this input and it has all of this right so back to to this i have um the first div right so middle main one 
and inside this my middle main one div of course i have other divs inside as well so the very first div i have here is the is the uh is the div containing the image and the input like i said so i gave this a class i call it posts one the image which is my image i call it middle pick and we have the input i give it a class of post because it needs to be styled and you can see the tech the type here is text and the placeholder is start a post so this div here is is complete now this second div here which has those icons i put everything inside the div and that's because i need to put it in a display of flex for it to be in a row direction right so i have um this div here and i call it linkedin linked input so each has the same right each div is the same the same the same which because all we just have there is the image and the photo right just the image and the paragraph so the paragraph here is photo the paragraph here is video the paragraph here is uh just different paragraphs let me see what we have on on linkedin so we have photo photo actually it's it's this is wrong it's not supposed to be photo photo it's supposed to be job right article so i'm just going to edit that and i'll correct that immediately so before i correct that let me just keep explaining for this middle main one and show you how how this middle main one is so for the middle main one i've been able to explain this now let me go to the css for the middle main one now we are here in middle main right so we have this middle main and we have the uh, width here to be a flex of one and that's because for the for the middle main uh width of course we don't set a we didn't set a defined width like i said earlier because um it's going to take the remaining space on the screen the left main already has its own space its own width the right main has its own width so this middle main would now take its own the space that is left which is the flex of one so for my middle main peak as you can see this is the width this is the border radius and the margin on the right now for the middle main one this middle main one this is this div containing you know my image and the posts and the input right so of course we have this uh middle main one we have that div we have a border radius we have a background color we have a margin bottom now for the post yeah which is this input uh which is this div which is this div itself containing just my image and the input now excuse me the middle main one that i showed you here this middle main one is for the entire card is the div containing this entire card middle main one is the div containing the entire card that is both the image and the input and all of those other icons underneath right that's the border radius and the background color and everything so for the posts one which is this, this other div containing just the image and the input we have display of flex which is very important then we have the padding so this 10 pixel 20 pixel horizontal and vertical you know then we have the post which is this going back to html which is this input yeah so the class here is the post and we have this styled as a flex of one right border and all of this so it's taking a flex of one and that's because my middle peaks we have a width of 50 pixels so let the post take the remaining space and that's why we assign a flex of one so we have a border background color border radius that's and this is for the placeholder of that post right so now for all of those icons upload input linkedin input and the likes so let me go back to this we have this div here which is the link linkedin linked input and inside this linked input div we have all of those other divs that contains the input and the upload which is the same input and upload for the input and upload we have display flex and align item center why the upload of course is the is the icon itself which is the height and we have given it a margin while the linked input 
is the div that contains each of those div that contains this um this input so we also have this display to be flex justify items align and we have a padding so i have this my my image my name and all of this information here then i have this paragraph and this image this uh, post image so i just want to show you that which is this and we have um the html so this is what i have here for my middle main two like i said it's going to be in a div which is in a div and i have this post about which is that my profile picture and that um that's input where you can post so in this div right i i i put this this image in another div which is this div here opening and the closing anyways i don't think it's even necessary to put it in a div because i already set the image uh, by giving it a class of middle peak so middle peak and the other div here is is this paragraph containing the name you see the class here is name then the other paragraph which is the name about then the also name about name about name about and that's what is here so this post about div like i said contains this image and this paragraph if i collapse this post about the next thing we have here is the paragraph which is this paragraph it's not in a div it's just a paragraph on it okay it's in a div rather this is the opening and closing tag of the div containing this paragraph then this image here which is the one that is not in a div is just that post you can see the class here is the post image so let's go ahead to the css and i'll show you how it's styled for this we have uh, mid main 2 right so for the mid main 2 definitely is what uh, i was just going to show you now we have the background color look at the mid main 2 this is the mid main 2 that is that div that contains both this post about this particular div and this post Im this image here that's this post image is what i have here as mid main 2 so i have the background color to be white the border top uh radius right because it's it's curved at the top look at what we have here just at the top here only the under is not it's flat so we have we have that we have this um butter top radius butter top left and right radius then we have the margin bottom that small space before we have the next uh post before we have before we have the next mid main two right then we have the name which is this this uh paragraph containing the name then we have the font width and everything then the name about which is this paragraph containing all of this this is what we styled here and that's what we have so once that is done all i needed to do was take this mid main two right copy the entire mid main two from the opening to the closing tag right and duplicate it as many times as you want the only difference i have here is that i changed the images it's all the same so basically we're explaining what i did here this mid main two has its own div right and this image and all of this this name this all of these three software are in a div while this image is in a div right so the div containing this i, I had to style the image and i styled this then this paragraph also in a div then this image in a div they are all here so you should expect that the mid main to css should also have a display right so that's exactly what we did for the mid main to and that's a styling so you can see the background color bottom and everything and we just put everything it's in the mid main to so 
you don't necessarily need to have a div a display the only part that is necessary to have a display is this this part this image and this so they can be a display of flex of course the default is is row but for this all of these icons here they don't need to have a display because in css or rather in html they appear in hierarchy that is as you post it appears so once you put this this two in a div right the next item should directly come after then the image should be after so that's just basically what we did here now the next part is to style this third uh is to style this this uh this third session which is also the right session so well done so i have this card here and i have this other card and i have this footer so i divided this into three just like i've been doing i have this right main one right main two and i have the footer so i'm going to show you in fact by now i'm pretty sure it should be like it should be easy for you to be able to do this but regardless i'm still going to go ahead to show you how i i arrange this uh, using divs and how i styled it in css so let's go back to html and let me just explain what i have here so looking at the html for the right session you can see i have a div like i can always do uh div that contains the right session and if i collapse everything in the right section is going to be collapsed so in the right the in the right uh session which is called the right main i have the right main one so the right main one is this very first card here this very first card that has to do with add to your feed is the same thing in my linkedin here which is this so i have the add to add to feed and um what we have in this add to feed is is simply um i created another div so let me just let me just explain by placing this side by side so i have another div here where i have the h4 and that h4 is this add to feed right and honestly it's just in a div which might not necessarily be required right because of course it's not like i'm arranging other things or um i'm adding any other thing but regardless you can always use your h4 directly without putting in a div then i have the other div here now this other div here that is called arz uh card this arz card now is the other div so this div now contains other divs right because i want to be able to style it so this arz card is containing this icon this information including uh this follow button everything so let me show you now for for this arz or arz div here yeah, this arz div then i have a div containing the image this is this image here yeah, and i also have another div here yeah, containing all of those information including the follow button which we have here yeah. so we have the arz info and the image i gave it a class of arz and of course the source so the h5 paragraph and the button and that's it so how do we style this now let's go to css and let's see for the right main we're working on right main one so naturally for the right main in css of course they need to be a width i already set a width of 290 that is why it's collapsed that is the middle section is no longer as stretched because it's only taking you know whatever width that is left because i already assigned width to this left session and to this right session so back to this we have a width assigned to the right main we have a margin left definitely we want to have some space on the outside on the left which is 25 pixel and we also have a display of flex and of course the flex direction is colon just like we've had in our previous uh, right main middle main right so for the right main one which is what we're currently working on you set a height just like we've done before background color border all of these are repeated codes then the arz here is the image this particular image here right so for that image we have a width we have a border radius and we have all those other things 
that is required for it we've set them and for the arz info which is the other div that contains all of this info including the follow button of course you should definitely know by now that we are going to have to put the AR, uh, arz info um we have to set a whip so that the arz image and the width can share the same space right so for the arz card so this arz card now which is the both the image and the info right we have to set a display which is very important that's where we have to set a display so look at it we have the arz card and we have to set a display of flex of course we have to set a display of flex so that the image can be uh on this side and this can also be on this side and it can be uh on the horizontal direction so that's what we did for that arz info and you should also lay your hands on this and the other styling that is left here is to style the h5 all the paragraphs and also this the follow button like in this button i called now i had to give it a class so i could style this follow button uh, accordingly so i start the follow button and i gave you all of this just really simple lay your hands on it now installing that third session don't make the mistake of setting um the arz info as a display because of course it's not needed it's the parent container that you set as a display that is the arz card that's where the house is both the image and all of those info so we set it as a flex but usually even if i decide to comment out the arz info if i comment out the width you know it might not really stretch but i want you to have a, a defined width of 180 pixel that is why i had to give this arz info this particular width of 180 pixel so that's that now let's look at the third uh the second session which is this session right so for this a uh, uh for this right main two right for this right main two what i did is instead of me doing okay right main two and everything because i was going to put it in a position so that's why i had to put a class of position yeah so i have my right main two because i think i tried to put right main two i'm putting i, I put a uh a position sticky and it wasn't effective until i put everything in a position so you can also try it out by setting by removing this the position and you know setting your your position directly to the right main two but however i think it might work but in my own case mine is outside and i put everything in the container right because the reason why it's that way is because it's not just the uh right main two i also have a right main three and i want both my right main two and my right main three to be at a sticky position that is whenever i scroll it becomes fixed when it gets to a particular a particular uh height right so that's why both my right main two and right main three is also in another div called position so let's start the right main two for this right main two it's pretty easy like i've always said you know html css is still like the the easy part of coming into tech because definitely it's still like very easy so we have this right main to here this image this image this text and this button so that's all that we have there and it's simple see here yeah, right main to here yeah. so we have a div containing the right main to and inside that div we have this div containing both images and we have the paragraph and we have the button right so the div containing both images i call the link box the image first one link this other one link to and the paragraph i also i did inline styling for that and the button so let's see how we did that in css um for the right main two of course a height margin top and for the right main two I gave it a display of flex and this display of flex of course will only affect items that are in uh, that are in the divs right so but this time around we have a display direction to be colon right justify sent justify content align and all of those so for the link and the link to and the link box I already set all of those styling 
accordingly so what i would also like to say concerning this vitamin too is that if you can observe for my link box i put the display of flex right so i also have another display of flex so perhaps now let me comment this out so we can see if there's going to be any changes now commenting this out i'm reloading right literally it really did affect all of this right i just wanted to show you the reason why i had to put that display of flex now the reason why i had to put this display of flex and all of this flex direction of a thing is because so i can be able to put my justify content and align items like all of these properties here only work with the flex property so without that the flex property might not be effective like you might not be able to align your items center you might not be able to justify space between and that's the, hence the reason why that is like that so now the third session here which is literally the footer all of this i just use the paragraph to just put all of these things and space it accordingly though it might not be exactly as we have here but it's similar i just used a simple paragraph to put all of this together at the right uh, and corner here now what you can observe is the moment you scroll it sticks it's just at that lower part the lower right bottom it doesn't move and that's just what we are going to do now like that's the entire thing that is left and of course you can go ahead to work on things like um collapsing you know all of these drop downs you can work on then using you know css and if you do you can always tag me as well let me see let me let me just you know see what you've done and you know that would be really nice if you can just lay your hands on all of those so back to my um my css and html i already filled up the code and for for this messaging i can always it's outside my main definitely and it can always be in my main however you want it so i put this in a div and i call give it a class called messaging so inside of course we have the image part we also have the one that has you know icons right so i put all of those in different divs and i set display to them so this particular div here which is the dm me which is my image plus a paragraph here that is, that has a net that has messaging and the other div contains icons several icons that i got from that i downloaded from the internet i will drop the link where you can get these icons and that's what we have so i have the icon groups and i gave all of those icons the same class of icons so i can style accordingly now for this paragraph i did inline styling as well because i didn't give it a class and i didn't want to go and uh, style it in my css so i did inline styling for that so in css here if you if you can see for for the icons now they have a height and imagine right they need to be some space right and now for the icon group which is the class that contains all of this icon we have a display of flex and align items center and justify content space between now for the dm me that is the first div right we have a display of flex as well because it contains both an image and a paragraph so i have a display of flex i have align items and justify content now for the messaging right which is the div that contains everything in the messaging i have a display of flex too because i have two divs that that uh, the dme div and the icon div this dme div and this icon div so i want it to be displayed flex but remember the most important thing about that messaging is the fact that it's fixed and it's in the lower right bottom so i gave it a position of fixed it doesn't stick it's just fixed just like the other so i give the position of fixed uh, bottom zero right zero so background color border top radius and um, align items and all of those justify yes center so that's pretty much about this tutorial on how i did i clone linkedin so i want you to also go ahead take up the challenge clone linkedin clone netflix clone as many you know 
things you can clone just for you to be sat be certain that yes you understand the css and css is really fun in my opinion i really don't even want to progress to core programming languages but i have to advance because i can't really just keep doing css and html so thank you if you like this kind of content do not forget to like comment share to your circle those that you that you believe might also be interested or they are trying to get into tech but they don't know how to my channel is the right place for you to be in thank you and bye bye